Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So in the previous video I showed you how to install ShotCN on Laravel project with the Inertia and React stack. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to install ShotCN in Inertia with Vue. Because uh, ShotCN is only for React. If we search here, so I'm going to search for the ShotCN dash view. Here we have the website and let's click and follow the instructions because it's almost the same. Let's go to get started. Maybe I'm going to zoom it a little bit for you. And I'm going to open the warp terminal and create a new Laravel application. So Laravel new. Uh, I'm going to say ShotCN dash view here. Hit enter. I'm going to choose Laravel breeze and select view with inertia. Let's choose dark mode and also TypeScript and hit enter. Also past no and leave that create the project. Now let's go to installation in this shotc and dash view. And here we have frameworks with Nuxt, Astro and Laravel. I'm going to choose Laravel. And yeah, first we need to create the project choosing the add in TypeScript, Breeze and also choosing a stack which is view. Then we need to run this CLI, so npx shotcn dash view now, add latest in it, and I'm going to copy that. Open the terminal, let's select SQLite here. Okay, let's clean and let's see the in the shotcn, not UI, but dash view. Okay, I'm going to copy to open this with VS Code. So the project, and then let's uh, run the npx shotcn dash view at latest in it and hit enter. And also here we are going to have some prompts. So would you like to use TypeScript? Yes. Which framework are you using? Here we have to choose Laravel because we are using Laravel. And the style, I'm going to take the default slate. And also here, where is your global CSS file? And it's showing us inside the resources slash CSS slash app.css because we choose Laravel. And also on the previous video, I showed you to add also this uh, prefix or so resources, CSS, app, CSS. Hit enter. Now, would you like to use CSS variables? Yes. Uh, where is ty your tile config located? We just need to hit enter and configure the import alias for components. And I'm going to do the same thing as in the previous one. So I'm going to choose sl at slash shotcm. Hit enter. Uh, for utils, I'm going to leave it as it is. So lib slash utils, hit enter. Write configuration to components.json, yes. Hit enter and now we are okay. Good. Let's clean this and I'm going to open the VS Code and here I'm going to open the terminal and just run npm run dev. Okay. Close this, open the browser and I'm going to open the project. So, so shotcn dash view dot test. And here we have the our project. As you can see, Titan CSS is working correctly. Now let's go and scroll down here. So here we say update the Titan.config.js and let's copy this and open here the Titan.config. But yeah, we are okay because we have the resources JS, TS, TSX, and view. And I think we're good. Next, let's scroll down. That's it. Now you can now start adding components to your project. So let's do the same. Let's add the button first. I'm going to close this and open the warp terminal. Hit enter. Down. Now if you go to resources, JS, here we have the shotcn and we have this UI button and button.view. If I click, here is uh, 
button view component. I'm going to close that and let's go to pages, welcome page. The same thing I have done also on the React. I'm going to scroll down and select all of them. Okay, I'm going to remove and Also, I'm going to remove the styles. And here, let's say just H1. With the class text 3XL, font bold, and just welcome. I'm going to say welcome to ShotCN dash view. And save this. Now, if I open the browser, open the project, here we have a welcome to shotcm view and let's try to change the color. So text the yellow, 300, save, come here, we have yellow now. Okay, now let's see some components here. So we added the button. What we need to do is just import the button. So I'm going to copy that and scroll up here import the button remove the link also here because we are not using that and here we need to change the add slash shot cn dash ui dash button and just use the button as a component so copy and i'm going to add a div with a class to be max with MD MX auto and paste that in. Let's save and let's see. Yeah, here we have the button. Click me. Now let's see another component here. I think we need to go to drop down menu. Okay, so the same thing we had also on the React example. We need to install the drop down menu. So I'm going to copy this. Open the warp terminal, paste that in, hit enter. Next, we need to import the drop down, but I'm going to import what we have in here, but just to be same example. Okay, so I'm going to copy that and paste it here. Next, import the button and also all the drop down menu. So paste it here. Yeah, here we need to change now to say shot CN. And the same thing also down there. So shot CN here. Then Let's copy this drop down menu. All of it. Okay, I'm going to copy that and paste it right here. So when we have this button inside, I'm going to paste that in. I'm going to save and let's see now on the browser. If I come here and refresh, click open, and you have the same think we have also on this example so go to preview and maybe i'm going to zoom it a little bit out just so be more clear like this and also here a little bit out we have the same thing so open close open and close okay friends that's it all about this video I hope you enjoy and if you like such a videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best, thank you very much.